of starting out today's DIY project with drinking straws. Now with these straws, I wanted something a little bit longer. So to achieve that, I'm going to increase the height by gluing on two straws like this. And when I was sure that it was the height that I wanted, I continued gluing on all the straws till I was done. In this particular project, I did use a whole pack of drinking straws. It was easy maintaining the height because I already have the height that I wanted and I was always gauging where the first one at the top would be and the one at the bottom should be. So I just kept following that same line till I got to the end. I made about three pieces of this and then when I was done I took them all out and spray painted them silver. I'm trying to make a plant stand but then I know this is not strong enough to hold what I'm gonna be making. So I'm gonna be adding wooden dowels to it. I'm gonna cut it down to size and spray paint them all silver as well and add them to my design. Here's a Dollar Tree planter that I picked up and I loved the shape. And then figured to just make a planter that's gonna make this stand out. I spray painted the silver first and then turned it upside down and then attached the drinking straws that I had spray painted silver around it. As I was adding the drinking straws, I also added the wooden dowels too as well. this planter I would love to have some reflection here so I'm gonna be adding strips for a mirrored sheet and they come like this I'm just gonna cut them down into the sizes that I want and I will leave a link for this down in the description box below I'm getting my cuts and then I attach the pieces to the stand These are self adhesive and they hold pretty well. Now to cover up the middle part, I'm gonna be using table mat and a cutout piece that I'm gonna be getting from mirror reflective paper. I'll cut it down to size and then glue it on to the table mat. Because the mirror reflective paper is not thick enough and will not really look sturdy enough going round stand, I decided to cut out pieces from a poster board. And this is where I'm going to be attaching the mirror reflective paper to first before then gluing it on to the table mat. I'll be attaching what I made here to the stand with a strong adhesive and hot glue. Now to make this look pretty at night, I'm going to be adding lighting inside. I love the way this plant stand looks and especially with the lighting inside. If you intend to have heavy plants inside, then you're going to have to add more wood dowels to your design to make it more sturdy.
this is a lovely gift idea for that special someone. Now, it would be nice to have it with another item too as well. The same planters that I got from the Dollar Tree, I will be gluing four together to make a table. I'll be using a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun to attach all the pieces together. Because I want the pieces to match, I'm going to take this out and spray paint it silver as well. Now the middle part is going to be covered with a poster board that has been covered with mirror reflective paper and a table mat like I did for the plant stand. I'm using a strong adhesive and hot glue to attach the pieces to the middle. In between the designs at the curves will be cut out mirror strips. I'm going to be covering this part here too as well. Here's what the table looks like. And for the top, you can get a glass from a thrift store like I did. I have a couple of these glasses and please put on a suction cup before attaching the glass to the top so it doesn't move around. Here's what both pieces using planters from the Dollar Tree look like together. The table and the planter. Like I said earlier, the planter that I made is meant for full plants that are not heavy. So if you intend to use this for something heavy, you have to increase the wooden dowels to ensure that it can hold more weight. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.